how it's going, man. 2017 full of fuse. Hey man, so we're working our way through. Then the change the radiator support, top bar, and the radiator support. So yeah, let's go. Yes, sir. Getting down through that, we had to do some dim work right there. Right. Didn't work up there. Yes, sir. So I'm just getting coverage right here. Just painting over my primary areas. Just making it the same color. Then I move on to the other side. So I have another primary spot. And like I said, I'm just gonna get some coverage. Just getting coverage, bro. Just making the gray areas the same color or close to it. So this is actually the second coat. And I'm just making sure I get coverage and keeping my strokes like 65 to 70%. Yeah, just trying to stay focused, man. Just bringing my way through. Yes, sir. Boots and a muscle team, man. I do this. And I mean... You can do this at the crib because as you can see, man, the shop ain't perfectly neat. Yeah, man, just getting down through there. Doing my thing. Check it out. There we go. What y'all think? I think I hit it with one more coat after that, but I didn't record it. But yeah, I hit it with one more coat. Now I'm hitting the hood with, I want to say the second coat. Yeah, this is the second coat, and I'm keeping the strokes 65 to 70% overlap. But yeah, man, just trying to stay focused and staying zoned in. When you paint, you got to zone in. At least when you, you know, when you're starting, I mean... Once you've been painting for 10 years, I guess it really don't matter. You automatically come into your zone. But, uh, yeah, when, you, when you've when been spraying about a year or two, man, you got to zone in and stay focused. You can see. <laughs> 